Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I hope all of you guys are doing well today. In today's video, I'll be showing you a transformation. These nails went from zero to 100 super quick. I know guys, we are not used to seeing nails like this on my channel, but my client had a little accident and she could not get her nails done for about two to three months. So she apologizes to you guys and she hopes none of you can relate. Later on in the video, I'll be discussing the details of what exactly happened to her, which is horrible. I'm just giving you guys the heads up. And again, we hope none of you can relate. Before jumping into the video, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a beautiful time with family and that you get to eat all of the calories you didn't get to eat throughout the year because you were trying to be healthy. Make sure you guys save me some. I'll be linking my address down below for those of you who want to drop off food to me or ship it to me. Just kidding, you guys, but I do hope that you have a beautiful Thanksgiving. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Mwah. These are my client's nails after the incident she suffered. As you guys can see, her middle nail was quite short, but after the application of acrylic, there was a drastic change. They went from being a resounding no to diva nails. So the first thing I am going to do is prepare my client's natural nails using a sanding band and my electric file. To prepare her natural nails, I am focusing on only removing the shine from the natural nails with a very light hand. There is really no need to apply so much pressure since the tool will pretty much do all of the work for you. I am mostly working my way around the cuticle area and the sides as this is where lifting occurs. For those of you who are interested in knowing more details about the tools I use, don't forget to check out my video on products for beginners, please. I am leaving the suggestion up here for you guys. Okay, so now as usual, I am going to repeat the same process on all the nails. By the way guys, I wanted to quickly apologize because I underestimated the editing time of this video and it is a day late, but I do hope that your Thanksgiving was amazing. The protagonist of today's video is the middle fingernail, so we have to pamper it a lot. Of course, after the incident, this poor nail was sunk in, so it is extremely important to use precision tools to reach all of the difficult areas and also to remove the dead skin that is around the nail. In the video that I just suggested to you guys, I also talk about these tools and their functions, so now it is definitely super necessary for you guys to watch that video. Before applying the artificial extensions, I am going to file the free edge of the nails to achieve a more aesthetic finish and so that the nails grow out evenly, but of course, before applying the extensions, don't forget to remove the excess dust. In my case, I am using this super cute pink fluffy brush, of course I would. This is actually a makeup brush that I got from eBay that I'm super obsessed with, so you guys, I am just bragging about it because I love it so much. I am going to start working on the middle fingernail and for better adhesion of the product, I am going to apply primer and protein bond. I am going to start lengthening the nail by applying a thin layer of cover pink acrylic. There is no need to push the bead towards the cuticle area just yet because I am going to apply more acrylic later on, so the sole purpose of this layer is to serve as a solid base to build the nail. Even though I'm not sealing the cuticle area just yet, I am going to focus on sealing the sides very well to avoid lifting. Even though this nail was hurt and not bitten, this technique I'm showing you can definitely be applied to short bitten nails since the steps are pretty much the same. After applying this layer, I am going to let the acrylic dry and then I am going to file and shape this nail to make it look as natural as possible. To file the free edge of the nail I just lengthened, I am going to use my hand file and to smooth out the surface and thin out the acrylic, I am using my metal carbide bit. For better adhesion of the extension to the surface of the nail, I am going to slightly roughen it up using the same sanding band that I used at the beginning of this video. You guys, again, remember to always remove the excess dust as it is extremely important. I am going to apply artificial extensions even on the nail that I just lengthened. I could have sculpted it using a nail form to make it longer, but my client preferred to apply extensions so that all her nails had the exact same shape. With my favorite little scissors, I am going to cut the sides of the thumb extension to fit it perfectly. After letting the glue dry, I am going to cut the extensions to the desired length. Okay guys, now I am going to fade the separation line between the natural nail and the artificial nail, filing only on top of the artificial nail with my metal carbide bit. 
I am going to refine the sides with my hand file, then I am going to remove the excess dust and apply primer to all the nails. Refining the sides saves a lot of time when filing the nails after the application of acrylic, so you guys, this step, in my opinion, should not be omitted. Okay guys, so now I am going to apply cover pink acrylic on all the nails, and with the same acrylic I am going to define the apex, since the consistency of this acrylic is quite amazing, and there is no need to encapsulate it unless you guys prefer to. In this part of the process, I am going to make sure that the cuticle area and all the sides are nicely sealed. In most of this application, I am going to use a 3 bead application technique to build the nails. This application is very basic, so it is perfect for beginners, and that just made me realize that this video is full of great stuff for beginners, since I am teaching you guys how to prepare nails, how to apply acrylic for beginners, how to fix short bitten nails, among other techniques, so I hope you guys get a lot out of this tutorial. Getting back to the topic of the damaged nail, I know you guys are probably wondering what happened to my client, so while she was working out, she fell and to avoid hurting herself, her reaction was to put her hand out to stop the motion, but instead her whole body weight fell on her nail, it bent back and her whole nail was ripped out, even with her natural nail attached to the acrylic and everything. Such a horrible and extremely painful incident, you guys. So painful that she had to go to the ER, they had to put her hand to sleep, and they had to remove the rest of her nail. It is actually a blessing that her natural nail is still growing out because for the most part in this type of cases, the nail doesn't grow anymore or it grows out deformed. So needless to say, she's super happy and excited to say the least that she's finally able to get her nails done. We really do hope that nobody can relate because there are so many nerve endings on the fingers, so the pain is suffocating you guys and I'm not even exaggerating. This is definitely a clear example of the saying, beauty is pain. Okay, so going back to the nails, I'm not really going into detail because this part of the process is super basic and pretty much self-explanatory. I am just simply repeating the application on every nail as you guys can see on screen. After letting the acrylic dry, I am going to remove the excess and shape her nails using a hand file and my electric file. With a sandpaper block, I am going to smooth out the surface and remove the sharpness of the nail. Then with the same pink brush, I am going to remove the dust. I am going to also remove the dead cuticle, but as always, this step is completely optional, you guys. With a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol, I am going to cleanse your nails to remove impurities and oils. After cleansing your nails, if you guys want, you can finish them off by applying a layer of gel top coat, which would look so gorgeous. However, I am going to apply these gel polishes by Born Pretty Store. This collection is beautiful, it is inspired by coffee, it is perfect for this time of the year, although autumn is almost over, but they're still very neutral tones, so they can be used at any time of the year. You guys know that my specialty is the handling of acrylic, but I am so obsessed with these gel polishes that I could not contain myself from using them, and I couldn't choose which one I liked more, so we decided to create a fashionable color transition. The transition of colors we chose goes from lightest to darkest, starting with the lightest on the pinky. I definitely take my time polishing nails, sealing the cuticle area, the sides, and all the tips very well, because I love a precise and professional finish. You guys, always remember to apply thin layers of gel polish because if you apply them too thick, the product is going to bubble up and ruin all of your hard work. If necessary, you guys can pour a little bit of pure acetone in a small container and with the same brush that you apply the acrylic with, you can remove any gel polish from the skin and correct any imperfections around the cuticle area before curing the product. By the way guys, in the description box I am going to leave the link where you can get these colors and for you my loves, with my coupon code QUEEN20, you guys get a 20% off discount. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the Black Friday event by Born Pretty Store from November 27th to the 30th. They have amazing discounts of up to 80% off, plus you have that extra amount off using my code, so don't miss the great deals to get some new nail goodies. 
Apart from gels, they have many other cute little accessories for nails, which are of excellent quality and super affordable. As a matter of fact, I did a video reviewing some of their other products, which I loved as well. I am going to leave the suggestion up here for you guys in case you want to check them out. By the way, if you guys want to see more videos like this with gel polishes, please let me know in the comment section and give me a thumbs up. These colors are so beautiful, the pigmentation is spectacular. I only have to apply two layers and they're done. The only one that you guys need to apply three layers for is the color that I'm applying on the thumb because it's a little bit more translucent compared to the rest. After polishing the nails with the first layer, I am going to cure it under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. Moving on, I am going to apply the second coat, starting again with the pinky. For those of you who are interested, this color is called Café Alé. I am fascinated by the names, they are super cute and perfect for this collection. On the ring fingernail, I am going to apply this color called Latte, which is actually one of my favorite ones because it is super elegant and quite neutral. It is one of those colors that actually goes with everything. The next color is called Mocha, which is also super gorgeous, and by this point of the video, I feel like, like going to Starbucks. <laughs> you guys, this nail arrived her, and now it seems as if nothing had ever happened, so whoever invented acrylic, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. On the index fingernail, I am applying the color Cappuccino, and oh my god, you guys, I love this color so much. I literally loved it so much that I even applied it on my own nails. Last but not least, for the thumb I am applying this beautiful color called Espresso, which is absolutely stunning because it is so nice and rich. I am definitely super in love with this whole entire collection, you guys. Okay, so now I am going to cure this layer under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. As I mentioned before, this color requires a third coat since it's a little bit more translucent, but honestly, for the quality of these colors, I think they are super cheap. They go for about $5 or so, and they may actually be even cheaper right now because of all the deals they have going on. I'm not sure though, but even if they're not, they're still a steal, you guys. After curing the colors, we decided to give these nails a matte finish, so we're going to apply a matte top coat and we're going to cure it under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. After curing with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol, I am going to remove the viscosity to reveal the matte effect. To finish off, I am going to apply cuticle oil. This oil has a delicious pineapple aroma, which I love, love, love. I know this video made us hungry, but it is not edible, you guys. And my loves, this is the final product. How did you guys like this transformation? I loved it so much, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my content. I love you guys so much. May God bless you. Mwah.